Welcome everybody to Prophecy in the Spotlight. I'm your host, Brother Dan Goodwin. Uh, this is June the 24th uh, as of the recording date. Uh, f Friday, June the 24th, a day that will live in infamy. Um, I realize you'll be watching this three or four days later, but uh, you understand that's the Roe v. Wade decision that came out. Remember the decision that was leaked several weeks ago, ta caused a whole bunch of turmoil. They were hoping to get the court to change its mind, and, and they sent uh, rioters to the House of the Justices trying to threaten them. And, uh, well, it didn't work. Roe v. Wade was overturned which means the decision-making goes back to the states, okay? Uh, that's huge. Did you ever think in your lifetime that you would see this happen in America? Very seldom does something get overturned that gets passed. Just, just like the laws in Congress, when they pass this welfare stuff and they pass all these laws, almost impossible to get rid of them later. And uh, so, um, these are exciting days, and uh, there's more stuff coming in the near future, I promise you that. Um, in the show coming up this week on television, we are going to be talking about a place called the Golan Heights, which is right there on the border of Israel, and it is part of Israel. But we're going to share some, uh, some interesting things about that. Something that Mr. Putin said that you need to know about. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Syria. We're going to talk about Israel just recently. I have an article I'll read you in the, in the next show about Israel attacking Syria. They've been attacking them many times, but uh, I'm going to tell you why Israel is attacking Syria, why they took out the airport, and we'll have that story for you. We'll also have a brand new story that just came out days ago and uh, about, about the gas pipelines, natural gas. We're going to talk about Russia. We're going to talk about Europe. And we're going to talk about Israel and what just happened that could be the hook in the jaw of the bear from the north that's going to bring Russia. I've been saying this for months, if you've been watching. For months, I've been telling you, Israel is going to be attacked by Russia very soon. I mean, uh, you, you, I mean, it's possible before this airs, it'll begin. But uh, keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Um, we'll have our, our, our reporter on the street has a segment in the, in the upcoming show. Miss Tiffany will be with us. Um, let, me, let me share this with you as well. I have a new segment that we're going to be doing here at Protestant Spotlight. We're going to be doing something that I'm calling the pastor's prophecy perspective. Prophecy from the pastor's perspective. And uh, I'm going to bring in some different pastors around the, around the area. Uh, one of them's in Louisville. One of them's in uh, Memphis. Uh, let's see, who else? I got one from Shepherdsville, Kentucky. And I've got a couple other, others that I'm working on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have them sit in the studio with me, or I may go to them. Uh, I know Memphis. I'm going to go to Memphis and hold a prophecy conference there, uh, a prophecy Sunday. And we're going to interview uh, the pastor uh, of the church there, Calvary Baptist Church in Memphis. And I'm going to ask some questions uh, of these pastors, these men, uh, concerning prophecy and what it means to them as a local pastor. And I'm going to ask them some very, some very, uh, well, what's the word here? Some very uh, meddling kind of a question. I want to ask them some serious things that I think would be very interesting for you to hear their take on it. And for instance, what, what does prophecy mean to you as a pastor? Um, how does your church feel about it? What's, what's changed in the last 20 years in, from your perspective? And uh, do you think we're getting out of here soon? I, I, that's the kind of things we're going to talk about. I think you're going to enjoy it. I think you'll, uh, uh, I think you'll glean some things from it. And uh, it's very possible that next Friday that we'll have our first uh, pastor with us. But we'll, we'll see. We're going to try to do one every... Uh, maybe one every month for uh, for several months. So I think you'll like that. Also, uh, we have a couple of uh, new TV networks we're going to be telling you about. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, so I'm not sure I want to want to say it. But we have uh, we have one that uh, 
uh, has contacted us in Minnesota that wants to air our program for free. And hey, I like that. So uh, we'll let you know about that. And, uh, and there's another network um, that we are working on that has a very nice spot in between two very well-known prophecy guys that they've offered us. Uh, now, it's not free. Um, so we're praying about that. I really want to jump on it. Um, so uh, if, you'd like to, if you'd like to help influence me there with, uh, uh, with, uh, with joining in and helping us financially take that one on, um, contact me. Um, but I'd like, if nothing else, I'd like to take them on temporarily and just see if we can uh, get, some, get something going there and get some, some partners from there. Um, okay, so uh, right now we're on CTN nationwide, satellite and dish every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Uh, Central. Um, we've been on there for almost two years now. Uh, we just started about a month ago at VTN, Victory Television Network. As you know, that's Little Rock, that's um, Hot Springs, Arkansas, that's Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, I, I believe there's like 9 million people in that listening, vi viewing area. And uh, so we're hoping that that brings some people. It, it's, not about, it's not about getting big, it's not about money. It's about getting more avenues in, in to, get, to get our message out there. And we believe our message is important. We believe we have a King James Bible believer's view of things, and that's what we stand on here. And uh, we'll be, uh, okay, so um, lots to talk about in the upcoming show. Lots to talk about. It could be that Ezekiel 38 is on the near horizon. All right. Okay, our bill is due as of right now, but when this airs, uh, the bill will be just days away, the big bill. If you have not uh, sent what, uh, what you wanted to send yet, please do so. Hit the donate button, send a check, whatever it is you're used to doing. Uh, we're just days away right now from the bill being due uh, for CTN. It's thousands of dollars. Um, and we're viewer supported, 100% viewer supported. And so we need you to partner with us if you like what you see here, if you like what we're doing, and if you'd like to help us expand onto more networks, we need you to get on board here. Okay, good being with you today. Don't miss the upcoming show, show number 103. All right, don't miss it. I'm telling you this, I've been waiting for days for this to, to get this recorded. This is gonna be a very important show coming up, show number 103 on television and right here on YouTube, also on Rumble. We may be a little behind getting them on Rumble, but we do have a Rumble channel. You can get everything right from the website, prophecyinthespotlight.com, everything is there. And you can, uh, you can find over the Facebook page. I do live streams at least uh, twice a week on the Facebook page. So if you're not a member of the Facebook page, Prophecy in the Spotlight Facebook, um, get on there. We're on Getter, we're on, uh, um, Getter, what else? Uh, Twitter, I have a Twitter account. Um, Getter, what's the other one? Oh, the uh, Trump Social, uh, whatever it's called. I'm on that Truth Social or whatever it's called. We're, uh, we're on there. I, I've been posting the videos on there. Uh, we don't have a lot of followers there yet, but uh, uh, the day is going to come when uh, there may not be Facebook. So. All right, and of course, right here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell, and you'll get an alert every time. Uh, we're putting out about three shows a week. We're putting out this update. We're putting out the TV show. And the radio program is also on YouTube. I forgot to mention radio. We're on over 20 stations around the country. We just added three more up in Pennsylvania. Uh, do you remember the name of that, uh, his town up there, his area? Uh, I can't remember the name, uh, but it's on the website. You can go to the website, hit the radio button. It'll tell you all the places we're on, and, uh, but they're also right here on YouTube. Okay, on that note, keep your eyes on them skies.